Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Feedback Friday. Davey and Nelson sitting alongside David Hero. What? Why do you always have to act up when we start the show? I, I, I get on such a great roll, and then you start shenanigansing over here. I'm not here shenanigansing and... anything. I thought it was the Fish Fry Friday. No, it's It's feedback always been Friday. feedback? Up here in the Great White North, it is Fish Fry Friday. Speaking of the Great... You know what? Here's what I realized today. <laughs> today? Do you, you realize what? Do you know why we won the Civil War? What do you mean by we? <laughs> the North. The North? Yeah. Yes. Yankees? We use snow machines. Because the you South is machines. crippled. <laughs> you guys get a half an inch of snow, a little bit of ice. We Good talked God. about this on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. They don't have the infrastructure, David Hero. But they've had a few weeks that. since then to deal with you that. You don't just go to the, the car dealership on Main Street and buy a plow. You, you, you have to order these things and be ready and have salt shipped up from... 7,000 flights were canceled. And? Thank God we're not traveling right now. It's Feedback Friday, folks, and what this show is about is not the weather, but indeed your comments. Your comments left for us on Twitter, left for us on our YouTube page, and it's always your funnest show of the week. Is funnest a word? Funnest? More it will false, be right now. Fun? Hashtag funnest. I want to see tweets hashtag Do you funnest. Do you watch Workaholics this week? I don't watch that show. Really? Yeah. There's no hot chicks on the show. Why would I watch it? Uh, you need to watch the show. And if that's your only qualifier as to why you watch That's television? why I watch Modern Family. Gloria, fantastic. Arrow, Felicity. Let's get to your comments, folks. This first one comes to us from YouTube, and it comes from a user by the name of Ryan Dawn. Ryan says, and I quote, oh, this one's going to hurt. <clears throat> David Hero is absolutely right about oh. Daniel Bryan. He gets a bad rap for being anti-Daniel Bryan, but he's never said anything negative about his wrestling ability or his entertainment value. He's just been 100% honest about his quote-unquote yes chants, and while they're fun to chant on Raw, they don't result in any more dollars or ratings on WWE television. The ratings don't jump when he's on TV, and the WWE fan base can bitch all they want about him not winning the Rumble, but what they don't understand is a lot of it is their own fault. And it's not Snitsky's. How about that? How about, finally, I'm being heard. How much did you pay him? Nothing. My PayPal account's empty right now. Do you follow him on Twitter? I don't know. I might. I follow a lot of people on Twitter. Well, him? Super, no. I follow all my you follow super friends. follow him on Twitter? Sure. Well, I don't know. I'll have to look. I'll have to look it up. Thank you for that comment on our YouTube channel. This next one comes from a user by the name of Silver84, who says, EC3, Samuel Shaw, and Spud, Rockstar Spud, are very entertaining, as it's clear TNA doesn't really need ex-WWE guys, or even TNA originals, uh, as much as people think. Ratings have gone up with them in the spotlight. And, uh, you know, we've talked about that, David Hero. I thought Impact last night was another phenomenal broadcast. I thought it was, well... And we'll see what SmackDown is tonight, but it beat Raw, in my opinion, from a pure uh, entertainment standpoint. And EC3, Rockstar Spud, several others. We talked about them last week. Great talents. And I tell you, I could almost watch a two-hour-long Rockstar Spud show. Oh, I couldn't do that. Really? Yeah. But One hour? Maybe six 30 minutes. Maybe six minutes. Six minutes? Six minutes. But, you know, EC3 is going to be on... Primetime Tomorrow Saturday night, night, EC3 is our guest. Ethan Carter III is our guest on primetime uh, tomorrow night, yes. He had a few nice things to say about you. Well, of course. We're, we're tight. We're good friends. Uh, we go way back. It sounds like it. Uh, next comment comes from Christian Negron, who says, Thanks. Uh, oh, this is in reference to last week's primetime, where I gave the final word on CM Punk, which, unfortunately, I have to do again tomorrow night on primetime, because more, more news has come up about CM Punk. Uh, but anyways, uh, Christian says, Thanks, Damien, for those last words on CM Punk. You took the words out of my mouth, and I didn't have to say it myself on the feedback special. It's a shame he couldn't change the business the way he wanted to, which goes back three years ago when he made that work shoot promo and thought he made a little bit of change and had the world in the palm of his hands. And now he leaves because he hates how the WWE WWE is at the very is at the very moment. Yes, technically CM Punk did walk out on the fans, but why? Because he wanted to make a point to the entire company and to the entire locker room that Cena, Orton, and Batista are not the only superstars in WWE, and that everyone deserves a chance in the spotlight. He got his chance. He will definitely be missed, especially by my hometown of Chicago. Thanks, Punk, for the memories. He got his chance. He was the champ for the longest, what, 492 days or whatever it is, 444 days. 
the longest of this era, that's a hell of a chance. Would not a lot of people on that roster in WWE kill for the chance to be in the spot that CM Punk walked out of? Absolutely. To get the listen, how many how many people on that roster would have loved to have gotten the opportunity to cut that pipe bomb promo? But if we go back to the pipe bomb promo, that was a 30-day hit, if you will, because the rest of the year for Punk wasn't all that great. There was no real follow-up. He signed a new contract. By his own admission, he, he gave in. He beat John Cena clean in his hometown of Chicago. The buzz, though, for uh, that was that same month. That was weeks later. I'm talking going to August, September, October, November, December, where he became champion, yet wasn't headlining the pay-per-views. No. Because... He was wrestling on them. Right. He wasn't headlining them. So where did that promo really go? He got paid. He only, did. Only thing he didn't get was the ice cream bars. He got everything else he wanted. Next comment comes from a user by the name of uh, Shellac, 2012, and uh, says, first, I would want to say that I love this show. I love hearing the thoughts and opinions of both Dave and Damian on various topics in professional wrestling. I greatly appreciate the fact that PWR Primetime isn't just another smart show. Uh, your viewpoints seem to come from both a fan's perspective as well as a perspective of a person who actually knows the business. So you're the fan, I know the business. Quite honestly, it's a refreshing contrast to a lot of wrestling shows found on YouTube. Thank you for those comments. And, uh, well, I, I don't think, while it's not about competition, we, there is no comparison <laughs> to the Pro Wrestling Report and Prime Time uh, being on television here in Milwaukee. Let's go to the question, though, that uh, this user had, which says, secondly, I'm curious to hear your opinion about this. What if, instead of breaking up the shield, would it be better to honestly have Roman Reigns separate from the shield and replace him with a new member? It would be like how the triple threat in ECW replaced Bigelow with Lance Storm. The way, that way it gives more opportunities for the shield to continuously make breakout stars. Interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. There, you know, there's been talk in the past, maybe Roman Reigns leaving, Mason Ryan taking his spot. Easy. Easy switch. I think that would be great because that way it breaks Mason Ryan into an established group. Mason Ryan, where do you get that from? We haven't seen him in what, over a year, maybe two years. But you know, he's he's got the size. He's bigger than Roman Reigns. So it, I, I think he'd be a solid fit. Hmm. How do you pull Roman Reigns out of the group? He just leaves. He's done. Or does Ambrose kick him out? Especially after what we saw this past Monday night on Raw, where many thought he would be the challenger for the United States Championship. Yeah, you know, I, I think eventually Ambrose and Roman Reigns are going to have their big falling out, which is unfortunate because I really like the Shield as that group. You don't as like that threesome. No, I do. But I think that they could be successful as a singles in that threesome. Next, uh, thank you very much for that comment. Next comment comes to us again from YouTube, and James was the uh, person who sent in that last comment. Thank you for your actual name there. But this one comes from Jeff Larson, who says, and I quote, saying Randy Orton uh. is today's Randy Savage is an insult to the macho man. If charisma was really that important, Orton would, have, would never have made it without, uh, would, made it above mid-card level. Sure, Ziggler doesn't have the best charisma skills, but he's got more charisma in his big toe than Orton has in his whole body. He's only on top because he is Triple H's buddy. Can I explain this? When I said that Randy Orton, it's Randy Savage, it's the pecking order, right? The popular guy is John Cena. The guy that goes good guy, bad guy, bad guy, good guy is Randy Savage, is, is Randy Orton. And CM Punk is Roddy Piper because of, of the similar characteristics. But it's the, more the pecking order than saying that Randy Orton is, you know, ooh, dig it. You know what I'm saying, brother? Snap into it. It's, it's not <sighs> relax, fans. Not everything is black and white. There's a lot of well, gray. Well, maybe you should world. be more articulate when no, you speak. No, 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 no. I, I think, no, no, no. It's pro wrestling. Don't take it so seriously all the time. Well, a lot of people do. It's still real to them, damn it. Well, it's still real to me, well, damn it. You know what? Then it's time to get out of the padded cells, you know, take off the straight jackets and relax. What did you just call us? I didn't call you anything. I was talking about them. If you ever look at me like that again, it'll be your last show. You look me up and down like I got some kind of problem. You do have a problem. Next guy. You know, hey, 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 you know what? They have these apps on your phone. That it's like an alarm system that yeah. slowly wakes you up every, you know, for 30 minutes. Oh, really? You could use one of those. Why do you say that? Because you're so high strung. Got a lot on my mind. 
Next uh, comment comes to us from Twitter, at PWR Show on Twitter, of course, using the, hash using the hashtag PWRTV. And we thank all of you who do that when you're watching our broadcast, including this one. Hint, hint. Uh, this one comes from, uh, let's uh, go back up there a little bit there. Thank you. Uh, Conrad Cushman, at Conrad Cushman on Twitter, who says, uh, I honestly respect hashtag Nelson's final word on CM Punk. It was honest and truthful. Hashtag tremendous. Now, you didn't like that so much, my final word on CM Punk. No, you know, it just... It, it, <laughs> It reminded it me of something. What's that? I don't know. It's like... Take care of yourselves and each other? Maybe. Yeah. Someone else had that gimmick at one time. No, it's original. Is it? I'm the only Nelson to have a final word. I guess so. Well, well, General wait, Nelson wait, or no, Admiral no, no, Nelson, no. more importantly. Th th those two twin rocker boys. Two twin rocker boys. Nelson. They're called Nelson, weren't they? I definitely am not familiar Long, with that blonde music. hair? Yeah, I've, I've 1990s. seen them 1990s? VH1. Yeah, where are they now? Video. Yeah. Uh, next... Comment comes from a uh, Twitter user by the name of at ja, Johan Jen, uh, who we actually talked about last week on this program as well. And he says, my tweet was mentioned on hashtag Feedback Friday, hashtag Tremendous. Watch and tweet about hashtag PWRTV and let your voice be heard. Because why? I am the voice of the voiceless. Well, clearly the voiceless have a voice here on the Pro Wrestling yes, Report. Yes, they do. Feedback yes. Friday. You know what? This has been a good show so far. Not so much negativity out there. You know what I think? <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you think, Dave? <laughs> I don't know what you think, and that's really the problem. What, <laughs> what do you think? I, I think that our positive movement is going forward. You've said that you uh, actually have been the leader of the Yes movement. Oh, I have been. You know why? Well, this is, is Daniel Bryan no, in some no. kind of weather event? No, no this is uh, Hurricane Helms. He has a shirt I would buy. <sighs> You know what? No, no, th wait, 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 wait. Think about it. If I wouldn't have pointed out the obvious to the masses and say support Daniel Bryan, buy his merch, his merchandise sucks, more and more people are now recognizing that. All I'm doing is just, you know, I'm making, yeah, what are you doing? I'm making the vision that much more clear for everybody. Yes, his head is that big, ladies and gentlemen, and that is this week's edition of Feedback Friday. As we said, tomorrow night listen, on primetime, listen, our big guest. Listen, it's Valentine's Day. Is it? Wasn't familiar. Size matters. <clears throat> so your bouquet is pretty big. That's why I have a big head. The uh, tomorrow night on primetime, folks, it is a special guest and a special announcement. Our special guest from TNA Impact Wrestling, EC3, Ethan Carter III, an interview I had a chance to conduct with him last weekend will be airing tomorrow night. And also we'll announce who is joining us on the road to lockdown and WrestleMania over the course of the next few weeks, our big in-studio guest we announce tomorrow on primetime Saturday night. What are you, what? Nothing. All right, I for just, that one, just, ladies and gentlemen, smirking. this is David, Damian Nelson. <laughs> we will uh, see you tomorrow night for primetime and keep those comments coming.